Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a question on seed dispersal. I've also placed this question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's get started. Let's look at this question. I have two fruits over here. Fruit A has a wing-like structure, while fruit B has a dry pot. So when it comes to this kind of question, what I would like all of you to do is to immediately write down the dispersal method of each fruit. So the moment you see, hey, this fruit has a wing-like structure, means it is most likely to be dispersed by wind. Let's write that down. What if the fruit has a dry pod? Pod sounds like pod-like structure, right? Fruits with pot-like structure are dispersed by splitting. So let's read the question now. Which one of the following graphs shows the relationship between the distance the seeds are dispersed from the parent plant and the wind speed? So what they're trying to do is they're asking you to choose which graph shows the correct relationship between the wind speed and the distance the seeds are dispersed for both fruit A and fruit B. Now, let's think about fruit A first. What happens to the distance the seed is dispersed when the wind speed increases? Let's write it down over here. When wind speed increases, do you think the distance the seed is dispersed will be affected? Yes, if the seeds are dispersed by wind, when there's a stronger wind blowing, the seeds will be dispersed a further or shorter distance. A further distance, right? So when wind speed increases, the distance the seed is dispersed would also increase. So for fruit A, you should be looking at a graph where the distance the seed dispersed increases. Increases means going up. So let's compare all the four graphs for fruit A. Remember, we are looking for the distance to be increasing. So which graph does not show that? Number one shows the distance seed dispersed for fruit A increasing. Number two also shows an increasing trend. Number three also shows an increasing trend. How about number four? Is it increasing? No, it shows that when the wind speed increases, the distance the seed dispersed decreased. So option four is wrong. So we are left with the first three options. So what we got to do now is to find out whether the distance seed of fruit B is dispersed is affected by wind speed. First of all, what's the dispersal method of fruit B? It is by splitting. Does wind speed affect the distance these fruit disperses? No. Splitting occurs when the fruit is ripe, the fruit will split open. Do these seeds have a wing-like structure that allows the seed to float in the air longer when the wind speed increases? No, right? The seeds do not have a wing-like structure. Therefore, the distance the seed of fruit bees dispersed is not affected by the wind speed. Which means when the wind speed increases, should you see an increase in the distance the seed is dispersed? No. Should you see a decrease in the distance the seed is dispersed? No. So what should you see happening to the distance the seed is dispersed when the wind speed increases? The distance should remain the same. So let's bring our focus on the graphs of fruit D. Let's look at option 3 first. We see that the distance the seed is dispersed is decreasing. So this is wrong. Remember, we are looking for the distance to remain the same. How about number two? We see that the distance the seed is dispersed is increasing. Is this correct? Nope, wrong as well. How about number one? We see the distance the seed is dispersed remaining the same. So option one is correct. And that's our answer for this question. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we made, click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!